day one of our vacay, our family vacay. And we at something. We're at Grandpa and Grandma's house. Yeah. Don't mind my lashes, y'all. We're at Grandpa and Grandma's house. We slept really, really good. I think this bed is a California king size. Not really sure, but it's big as fuck. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. The house is nice. They're always moving to a new house, so I haven't seen this house. This house is really, really nice. Um, our family dog that we had since we were kids is now blind and deaf. They're going to have to put her down real soon. They put our other dog down. They lost one of our cats. And got a new cat. Yeah. And he wants to go downstairs and see the cats and dogs. Oh. Huh? Yeah. And I need to go shower because I didn't shower last night. Mm -hmm. So let us get up and get showered in bed. Are you still calling it? Uh-huh. They got spider webs all up on this playground. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, go! Job, Spider Man. Spider Man Zayden. And then go around and come this way. Good turn. Okay, look. Mm -hmm. I see. Muy bien. Muy bien. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my necklace broke again. <sighs> What's happening? My necklace broke. Oh. It broke again. But the trip, y'all, the trip is going actually pretty good so far. Um, like I told y'all, we at the park. My pops and my dad, they ended up leaving. He just texted me talking about some... <laughs> Letting me know where the alcohol was, if I wanted to drink and shit. It's just funny, like, being a, an adult now and, like, how your parents just treat you a little differently, you know? Back when I was 20, when I was out here, he wasn't trying to give me no liquor. He wasn't trying to give me no liquor. I was scared. I even asked to smoke weed at, outside his crib, so I snuck it. Whatever. But... Now he's trying to get me drunk. Talking about some, there's some rock up there and some other liquor up there if you want some. Help yourself. Dad, you trying to get me drunk. Ready to play tag? Yep. Okay, let's go. Get off, skitty cat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, how am I supposed to get him? <laughs> Come on, scary cat. <laughs> oh, you scary. <laughs> you better go on that bench. Huh? Go on that bench. Okay. Come this way. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all seen that? I'm back to you. Come on. I'm ready to go inside. So this is a neighborhood. 
Work is set. Go! It's the neighborhood. What are you thinking? No. Careful! It's a little backyard. My dad needed to do a lot of landscaping. He did a lot of landscaping for my grandma. Why didn't even know my parents had a balcony? That's their balcony. It's like a little trail. Let me walk the trail. Let me show y'all. My dad does really good what are you doing? with do outside work. Yeah, outside work. Once they get it doing pretty good, it'll be really beautiful. Need to put some flowers out here and some lights and whatnot. This is nice, huh? We got this going. There we are. This is pretty. Very pretty. Let me take a picture real quick. It wasn't a successful picture. It didn't work out. Let's trail goes this way. Or you could walk down over here. And down here, my mom. Ooh, see, we need a pool. I got a pool. It's a nice pool. But back here, my stepmom had her her chickens. Not regular chickens, like some some different type of chickens. They were really cute. Really cute chickens. That's the cat door. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me get my book. Okay. Let me take a so I'm having a tiny mini baby panic attack because as I was editing my vlog, I realized where's my weed? <laughs> I left my weed on the counter when I was in there vlogging last night and I remember grabbing my jacket. coming back in the room. I better have put it back in my purse. Because it was in like something enough for my people to throw it away if they didn't see it. This can't be happening, y'all. No way. Be in here, 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 be in here. Earpods are in here. Where's the ears? Found it. So my dad told me this was in the refrigerator. It's a Salicer, 5% alcohol. I thought, that, I thought that was 1,200 calories. I was going to say, let me go ahead and get another. And now it hurts. I drank that shit like it was soda. But it's good. It's good. Drink it away. Damn way. Any damn way. I was gonna make my son a sandwich, but I can't find the jelly. As I find the jelly. Is that jelly? Is this jelly? He didn't eat breakfast surprisingly, so now we gotta eat some lunch. Some lunch. He eat some chips. I'm about to make him a PBJ sandwich and probably give him some watermelon to go with it. I will say this early in the vlog. I don't know what my week consists of. I absolutely have no idea. So I'm just vlogging with the flow. You guys like when I bring you guys into my life a little more intimate into my life, more into mommyhood and shit like that. So I'm gonna tell you guys along. That's what this vlog is gonna be. Um but yeah. I'm gonna make my son his lunch.
Well, he's eating chips right now, so I'm just gonna feed him this sandwich. And then if he's still hungry, then I'll give him some watermelon. However, I did um, text my best friend out here. Before I had moved out here, I had a best friend, uh, best friend, best friend named Alicia. And she was literally, I've literally had, still haven't had a close friend like I've had a relationship with her. I don't know if that makes sense if that came out right. But y'all know what I mean. I haven't had that type of relationship with anybody other than her for real. Okay, I'll give you some more after you eat your sandwich. Let me see. Let me see. I'll give you some more when you're done eating your sandwich. I promise. Come take a bite. Come on. You gotta eat. You didn't eat none of your breakfast. Come sit down. You're gonna get I know. It's okay. Your hands are going to get dirty again. So just eat your sandwich. Come on. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you see what I mean, y'all? The disciplining. Like, that wasn't really disciplining, but it's more so, like, he didn't eat his breakfast. Like, at all. He ate one piece of bacon, and then now he's eating this. You need to eat your food. And it's like, I'm tired of repeating myself. Like, sit down and eat your food. You know what I mean? Anyway, like I was saying, I haven't had a relationship with any other female male like I had with her. And so I hit her up letting her know that I'm in town, but I'm four or five hours away. So if I do come, girl, I'm going to use it the night because I'm not driving four hours out there just to drive four hours back home. I'm not doing it. So hopefully she's not too busy this week um, so I can come over and spend the night and spend some time with her. I'll leave Zay here with my parents while I go. So that's one plan. Other than that, I'm just looking to see what is to do out here. Because they're in a new city. I'm from Merced, California. Um, and then when I ended up moving away back to Virginia, at that time, they were in Fresno, California. I also went to school in Fresno as well. And that's where my friend Alicia is at right now, Fresno. Only time I've been out in this city was when I was like eight and we went to the beach and rode, rode um, ATVs or however you want to pronounce it or say it. Yeah. So I don't know what the hell is to do out here, but I'm also trying to save some money while I'm out here, but it's okay. We'll see where the day takes us. Good morning, y'all. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing really well. Today's the next day, day two on my little family vacay. I'm about to hop in the shower. It's pushing about almost 12. So it's not gonna be in the shower. Really just been chilling. You must not got the house to myself right now because my peoples are still out of town four hours away. And my brother and his girlfriend are at work right now. So it's just me and my son right now chilling. I'm about to hop in the shower, get myself together. I kind of want to straighten this hair again, but at the same time, I don't want to because there's really no point. I don't think I'm going anywhere today. And I can't, I don't want to put too much heat on it. I feel like I've been putting too much heat on it. Granted, since I've been here, I haven't straightened it. But the last time I had it installed, I was straightened like every day before work. And it just won't healthy for my hair. <laughs> healthy for my wig. I don't want to get split ends because this can get split ends. And I already see little baby split ends on it anyway. Um, sorry for the sniffing. I slept with my fan on last night. And I also smoked outside without pants on and no socks on and it was cold outside so that's why i'm a little stuffy so do not mind that i went to a dispensary last night it was actually a cool experience um they had a lot to offer it was a cute setup very professional i got me an eighth of something i forgot what it was and i would show you guys but if i show you guys the weed i'm not gonna be able to monetize this video last time i vlogged and i was rolling up um and you can see me rolling up the weed and the blunt and they didn't allow me to monetize it. So I had to block that part out so I can help, so I was able to monetize my video. But yeah, yesterday I met my brother's girlfriend and she was really, really sweet. She wasn't what I expected, but she was really, really sweet. She was really nice, very respectful. I cooked him, my, I cooked my brother and her, his girlfriend and my son dinner last night. So that was nice. I never cooked for my brother before, so it was really nice doing that. Me and him also had a really good heart heart conversation about, you know, the whole sibling thing of me leaving and just how it's important to have siblings around. And I want to be more 
involved in him and his life and what he got going on because like our other sister that we were raised with so when i lived with my dad it was my dad and his wife my brother which is we have the same dad and his mom is my stepmom and his sister they have the same mom different dad so it at one point it was five of us all living together the three that i just told you guys plus my it was more than five shit um so at one point it was my parents in one household me my other brother my other brother and my two sisters but at that time my older brother my two my older sister they were older way older to the point they really weren't involved with us for real you know what i mean so when they moved out it was just and they were also back and forth with their parents you know i was raised going back for my mom and dad and so were they doing the same thing but for majority of the time it was always me my brother zandra my brother kiera and my dad and my stepmom's household and my stepsister she was always the one that was in her phone into her laptop in the house and me and my brother were always playing, like always playing outside, always playing inside, always engaging with each other. When we used to go out to the country with our grandparents, me and my brother, my cousin, we used to always be outside. Literally from the time we woke up to the time it was time to, the time it was dark time, we was always outside playing hide and go seek, playing tag, playing vampires, playing cops and robbers, climbing trees, climbing haystacks, playing in cow and horse shit, playing in the fields, riding go-karts and four-wheelers, climbing in trees, taking eggs out their bird nest. Like, we was always doing shit like that while my sister was isolated because she was just that kid to not be into that type of things. So every time I would leave to go live with my mom, to be with my sister, like, I never realize how much that can impact my brother because i was his main sibling you know it hurts me every time i think about it like i want to tear right now who it hurts me every time i think about it because like me and my other sister the emotions was arising y'all me and my sister me and her are really really close so the fact that me and her are really close i can only imagine I think I just cry every time I talk about it because it's like I feel guilty but not guilty because like I was a child always leaving to be with my sister and whatnot. But now fully realizing how that can affect him make him feel alone would would will but after the combo that we had um i will be in touch with him a lot more when i go back home i'll make sure i text him i facetime him just check up on him before we get five years from now 15 10 years from now where we don't have that bond and it's just harder to create those bonds with people after so long of being distant, you know? So I'm going to make sure I, I, I stay close to my bro. And I also do want to start doing like family vacations uh, spe specifically with my siblings and cousins and stuff. I want all my siblings to come together and just get like an airbnb somewhere out of state and be just be all together we all used to be together and then we all just drifted apart literally literally and i don't like that so i just kind of want to instead of making that normal and just keep everybody dissing i want to bring everybody together so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pick a month we're going to pick a month and we're all going to plan something all together, literally, to the point where we got to find a place and we all book it so we can all be there at one fucking time. 
but it has to be after me and my man's one year because I, I really need to save for that real, 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 real bad. So we'll be going to Jamaica most likely for our one year. If we stay together, y'all, we plan to go to Jamaica for our one year and that's in July. So July, August, September, October, November, December. We might try January to go on a trip. So in about a year. We need to plan something like that, but yeah. Let me grab and get my ass in the shower because I'm over here. I got sidetracked to talking to y'all. See y'all in a few. Y'all, I took a 20 minute shower listening to meditating music. The hue sounds. The hue. Yeah. I kind of want to smoke out here. They have a little. Yeah, I like this. Why did we smoke down out here last night? Should have smoked out here last night. Damn, I should have checked on my pizza. so good out here one thing i can say about california i do miss their weather especially where they're at right now where they're at right now it's very chill weather like the weather that they get is always between around this time until summer i believe the weather's gonna be like low 60s what the fuck are you looking at low 60s mid um 70s which is lovely Another lighter. Oh, my dad said there was one on the table. There wasn't a lighter on the table, Dad. What the hell? Sorry. No, I'm a dog dizzy. Hey, y'all. So, it's bath time. I did that. Yes, yeah, it's bath time. It's about 8 o'clock, almost 9 o'clock. So, I'll be getting ready to lay him down in a little bit. Um, my peoples came back from out of town. They have brought my grandma home. So my grandma's here. I haven't seen her in a few years. She looks really, really good. This is her second time seeing Zayden. Last time she's seen him, he was six months. Now he's three. So it's been a little minute. Mm -hmm. You see Grandma Marie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my two sisters that are both driving down. My other sister, she'll be driving down around 9 o'clock. She's working. And then my other sister, she's coming down right now. That she's coming down with both of my nephews so that would be lovely but as far as my brother we might not go down saturday which is a bummer because i really wanted to meet my niece and my nephew but it's okay so yeah what do you do with your hands and i do it here mm -hmm. so tomorrow we'll all be waking up eating breakfast all together because we're all staying the night so we'll be having breakfast all together and then getting ready to go to a family friends for Thanksgiving. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Happy Thanks Mother Fucking Giving. I need to take a shower. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. The fam bam is all over my house. I got my two sisters over with their boyfriends. I got my nephews over. My son finally met his cousins. They're playing, having a blast. Um, everybody is having a blast and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it um, it's 9 something I need to hurry up and get my ass in the shower get myself somewhat decent so I'm because I know a lot of people need to get ready today a lot I just don't know what I'm going to wear no sin, no sin, no sin no sin Party? Yes. hey y'all don't mind the hair, the hair is nappy and it's corrupt but we are finally home. We've been home for like two hours now. Um, about to lay him down. And I'm ready to smoke my blunt and carry my ass to sleep. Um, Thanksgiving was really, really good. I went to a family. I don't even want to say family friend's house. I went to. She's more. I. 
I look at her as a family friend, but she's really my cousin. She's my stepmom's cousin. Um, I've known her growing up. It's just I never really seen her a lot. I only seen her on like little holidays like Easter and shit like that. Last time I seen her, I was probably like eight years old. Um, but it was cool. It was no weird vibes. It was her people's. It was my dad, my grandma, my stepmom, my son, my brother, his girlfriend, my other sister, my two sisters and their mans and shit like that. And it was cool. We ate. Um, we played pool. We played like this sand game, bing bag game or whatever. We drank, listened to music. It was good vibes, y'all. It was real good vibes. Real good vibes. But now we are home. Ready to settle down. I need to get my nails done. Ready to settle down. I'm ready to go to sleep because your girl is tired. And so is he. He's just trying to stay up. But he'll probably fall asleep within 10 minutes of me laying his ass down because he didn't have a nap out all today. I hope you guys like the vlog. And I hope you guys like the last vlog. It's a little different. It's no strip of vlogs. But like I told you guys, I'm trying to make it more personal. Well, personal to a certain extent. It's personal as I want to make it. But... It's too late. I don't want you to. I don't want you to pee the bed. I'll get you just in the morning now, okay? I don't want you to pee the bed. I'll give you some water. Oh. Well, yeah, y'all. Um, yeah. This thing was cool. Oh, he threw me off, so I don't even know the last thing I said. But I'm gonna lay down. Oh, that's what I was saying. It's a little different. It's gonna be as personal as I want to make it. But if y'all like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I really don't give a damn. But this is my life. This is my channel. And I'm going to put what I want to put. So, yeah, y'all. Hope you guys like the vlog. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the guys' post notifications on because you're going to love it here. You're going to love it here. You're going to fucking love it here. Okay? So, yeah, y'all. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you did not spend time with family this Thanksgiving... I'm so sorry. I hope you made it the best it can be because it's your choice to have a bad holiday or not with family or not. Okay? It's your choice. I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next class.